Hey, here we are kicking it with Wolverine. Well, I say what I mean, I mean what I say, and I say what needs to be said. We are just back from Alexandra City, Alabama. Alexander City, Alabama. And, you know, with the autograph signing for the upcoming feature film, The Coward, uh, we had several of the cast members there and the crew. And, you know, it was a great, great turnout. We want to thank uh, Route 63 Stop. Uh, for hosting that event. Uh, we had, a, a like I say, a great turnout. want to thank all the people from Alexander City uh, that came out to support us and uh, show their love and concern, not just, uh, you know, showing their love for the movie, but for the Stop the Bullying movement. We got to talk to a lot of good people. Some of the people had been bullied or new people that had been bullied was really glad about this movement. And, uh, you know, uh, The Coward, is the movie, is not just... It's not just a movie, it's a movement um, on stopping the bullying, and we're not going to stop till we knock a dent in it or take at least take it off its feet, uh, you know. Um, so that's the big thing. It's really doing good. We're hoping to reach out. Obviously, also, we still uh, advocate for no room for racism. Those are two of our things, no room for racism, stopping the bullying. They go hand in hand. So what we want to talk to you today is just about is motivation. It's motivation, muscle up Monday. So let's jump into that. And like I say, thank you, Route 63. Say thank you, people of Alexander City, um, for hosting that and, and, and being a part. We, we, just, we just thank every, every one of you. Okay. All right. So on to our motivation, or muscle up Monday. Uh, I want to give a shout out to AC Rockstars in Alexander City. They invited us to come out to their morning ruck. We had a 5K ruck. Um, I, you know, carried the 90-pound uh, backpack, Semper Fi, that, you know, so I wasn't going to do it with less. Uh, even went old school and used it under the Vietnam-era backpacks. Um, it was a great time. It was a great event, a great way to get your blood pumping. Uh, got to, you know, walk all the way around the city and, you know, take a tour of places that we might not have seen if we're just there doing stuff. So it was an awesome, awesome time. We look forward to even doing it again when we come back. Got to carry the uh, the ruck flag some. I passed that off uh, to Master House, let him carry it some, just so, you know, everybody gets a turn. But, um, you know, had a great time uh, at doing that. Uh, so that's a, that's a good way. So since, that's a good thing to talk about. So since we're talking about getting in shape, rucking. So a lot of people don't want to run. They don't want to get out and do things like that. Well, you can get a backpack. Just put your little weight in it. Go on a ruck. That's, that's a great way. You know, they started at 5.30 a.m. I would suggest doing that, uh, especially if you live in Florida or Alabama or somewhere in the in the United States or the world that gets really hot later in the day. I would get an early start. Uh, we got an early start. We left at 5.30 a.m. and then we was done early before it really got hot. I mean, it still got warm, but it would not be nothing like it would had we been walking in the middle of the day with the hot sun pounding down on the asphalt. So. Um, that was a good time to start. I know it's early, but how, how much is your health worth? That's what you got to be thinking. So that's the question I want to ask you today is, how much is your health worth? You know, a lot of people, they just keep putting it off, keep putting it off. Look, you got to get in there. You got to work out. You got to do stuff. I mean, for one, being a diabetic, I know and I sympathize and I know how hard it is to find the motivation to get up and work out and get started because, you know, your body has aches, it has pains. And being an athlete, that's just something you have to learn to work around. Um, you know, and you just have to tell pain, hey, look, I don't have time to deal with you today. I'll get back with you later. But right now, I got things to do. I got muscle to build. I got cardio endurance to build. I got blood sugar to lower. I got blood pressure to lower. You know, it just helps you. Look, look for the positive stuff in your stuff. There's always a reason not to work out or not to train. I'm too tired. It's too hot. I don't feel good. Hey, look, today... I feel terrible you know my shoulders been giving me a little little problem um, you know my feet are giving me a problem today but hey you know what it's not gonna stop me from getting my workout in I'm, I'm gonna get up I'm gonna, I, well I'm already up obviously but I'm gonna get that workout in because you know it, it makes a big difference on doing that so I can't let myself down got to get in there do that workout and and, and get that body going and try to get that my body healed up the best you can because that's all you can do and listen you know, you just got to think of working out as an investment on your life. Like I said, the last time we done kicking it with the one, everybody puts so much stock in the money and how much money they have and how much money they make. Nobody puts any stock into their body. 
and how healthy their body is or you know god give you that body and he expects you to treat it like a temple everyone knows that it's in the bible that's a pretty common saying but you know how much is your health worth that's an investment on your life that is just a big a gift to your family and friends as money uh because you need to be around you need to be around for all kinds of stuff all right so that's, that's it for Motivational Monday with me for kicking it with the Wolverine. Be sure tomorrow night and tune in to the AMAA Pioneers and Legends radio blog show with Professor Gary Lee and the Wolverine Parts Unknown. We'll be there. Uh, I'm back on the show and, uh, you know, we'll be doing that. I'm trying to work my schedule out so I can get done and get back into there. We'll get back with you, let you know when film is going to start as soon as all this craziness is up. But I can promise you this. The cast and crew of The Coward are still going to work hard every day to bring you the best movie possible. It's going to be awesome, ladies and gentlemen. We're really blowing up overseas. I just want to thank God for everybody and everything that's being done for us. Until next time, stay strong. Keep your kicks up. Us.